everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we are going to work on getting our Sojo back. I don't know about you guys but I lost my Sojo or uh, what did I say? Embroidery. <laughs> just mojo, just getting back into it. So we are going to be stitching a wonderful creative kiwi design. I'm going to be stitching on my uh, 8x8 hoop, so I'm going to just put that on the machine so it's out of my way. Yes, ding, ding. I know. Move. There you go. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked for colors whoops that needs to be in the screen can we see it now yes so that's my batting so this is what i decided to do isn't that pretty beautiful colors isn't that beautiful so this is going to be the sewing machine this is going to be the center background and this is going to be the frame background and I'm going to match the sewing machine to that. But isn't that a beautiful set of fabric? Um, I love it. And I picked black, white. And this was as close as I could get to the fabric. I think it'll make everything stand out. Because there is a brighter orange. There's a pink. This is kind of a salmon color. But I couldn't find any of my thread that matched that so I was like well I think it'll still look good this will stand out on the black so I think it'll it'll work out well I see a lot of people in the group saying hi hello hello Alicia's here Karina's here Janet Nelson I recognize all these names Isabel hello Isabel um Jackie Cheek hello Susan Weehy she's always here too which is awesome sandy thanks for being here jill scarsbrick yes lynn broadbent yes hello lynn thank lynn? you for watching who's that that's our lynn no yes she likes it i'm gonna get her to buy an embroidery machine soon she'll be lucky because she just lives down the street and i can help her how to do everything so hint hint lynn new names here, right? so new names is really nice this is our special day we call it this is where we have fun Rain um shine every saturday yeah always every saturday you shush over there no i'm tired and you're ruining my train of thought and i might just do you want my coffee no coffee gross um see now i forgot what i was saying thank you very much <laughs> jeez 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 Sundays, we're doing a project so long, which is awesome. Now, um, here you guys can see my nails. How's that view done? Uh, that's pretty good. Can you see what they are? Butterflies, yeah. blue butterflies with a pink sparkle. I thought I would just brighten the day up. And uh, I love it. It was fun to do. So just butterflies everywhere. Awesome. Awesome. So if you haven't uh, subscribed please hit that subscribe button we have a lot of stuff going on we keep really busy Saturdays and Sundays we have sew alongs uh, this is just a regular sew along sometimes it's my designs sometimes it's creative kiwi or a new Anita good design and Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we are doing a need a good design so along the it's a project so it's the one we've started off with is called quaint applique and it's 10 blocks and we're going to do a block every weekend so it kind of i wanted to fill up the weekend and have cool stuff going on so awesome if what Sorry, what? what block are we doing tomorrow we're doing the basket. Okay. So how you can tell, oh no, I don't put it up. I put it up in the event. So I put up an event in the group. Um, and I also, uh, you know, fill everything out on YouTube and I'm just going to feature the block that we're doing. Um, I'll try to remember to announce it or, you know what, if you guys are looking for it and you find it either in OML Embroidery University Facebook group or here on YouTube, it should always be in the upcoming, then you can share it with the group and then everyone can see. If I forget, uh, there's a lot of things, you know, going on to, to put up 
um, a YouTube thing. So if I forget, please help me out. So it sounds like everyone's doing fantastic today. And uh, we're ready. Do you have your coffee? Do you have your treats? Um, everyone's ready to get sewing. So why don't we get started? Why don't we get started? So I'm making the not largest, the second largest one, but I do believe you can do five by seven. You can do smaller. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Karina, thank you very much. Best part of the weekend. Yes, I think for a lot of people, this has become our special time, as Karina would say, and a lot of other people would say, that it's just time to relax and have fun. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So um, last but not least in the announcements, I'd like to say thank you very much to all of the moderators here on YouTube and the same ones in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. You guys help out so much and I can't do any of it without you. So thank you. Thumbs up, two thumbs up, two butterflies up. Sure. Yep. Butterflies up. All right. Let's go over to McDreamy and we'll get started. Oh, I see Judy Quilt. Hello, Judy. McDreamy's up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have my water soluble stabilizer going on. As always, I trim it down so you guys can see better because you wouldn't be able to see anything if this was all over the place. Uh, don't do that. Also, I'm going to be using darker colors to outline so you guys can see it on the video better. Um, it's better to use lighter colors. I would use white or something, but uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't help you guys out at all. So let's start off with our outline. And I'm like I said, I'm doing a bit bigger one. Hi, McDreamy. Hi, McDreamy. See, he's not mad. He's not mad. I, I was using the Janome. We bought a little, just a little portable. I suppose it's not little. It's probably normal, but um, little compared to McDreamy. Just for doing small stitching or being portable. And I actually finished a blanket and I love it. So this is our outline so we know where to put everything. So on this one, we are going to place our batting and our fabric. So make sure it goes over everything. Did you check your bobbin? Yeah. Put a fresh one in. I try to do that as much as possible. Now I'm going to lay this flat and then what I always do is peek make sure that we're we're all covered on all the corners it may be a bit easier to you know take it off the machine but I'm cool with that I did iron it but there was nothing I could do man to get that out Whew, there's a line I'm gonna live with it though I love the color yeah isn't that pretty mm -hmm. I wish I could find a matching thread. I was even thinking variegated, but I, I have busy patterns going on, but it was too orange. I was going for this one, but anyways. The next step is it's going to stitch this down and also make our placement for the inside fabric. So let's go ahead and do that and have it stitched down. Hopefully I'm not playing chicken. If I am, it's not intended. So, there we go. Nope, no chicken. I got it. Did I speak too soon? Try not to. Another thing that I do a lot to show you guys stuff is uh, I put my hands in the hoop. And y'all shouldn't do that. It's not a good idea. No. Uh, no. Stay away. No. Stay away. Right, Don? Yes. So that's the outside. Now it's stitched down wonderfully. I think the black and the orangey, it's not quite salmon. That's the problem I had. 
the orangey color. Meh. But this is such a cute design. It's um, unlike anything we've done. So I thought a sewing machine, my happy place. I thought that was nice. Am I? Oh, I'm sitting on the other side. That's why. This should be better. So, okay, let's plunk on our... We do all the building first. Now, that doesn't show through too much, so we'll be okay with that. If you find, if you have a dark color in the back and a light color for the middle part, you can always trim that. I think I'm okay. I don't mind, actually, a bit of the orange salmon whatever this matches this perfectly and it's pretty i actually made um a wall hanging out of this fabric so these are just scraps which is cool to use i'm always happy larger scraps mind you but um oof, i should have checked at the top that was a bit close but that's okay now we are gonna have to trim this so you don't have to trim anything else until the end, and we'll trim the back and front at the end. Go, McDreamy, go. And this is excluding the outline of the machine. So, it'll just take us a minute to trim it out. And it's gonna look good. I like the little sewing machine. What are you doing? Why are you touching my camera? It was fine a minute ago. Can we switch back to the desk now that you mussed up my camera? I didn't muss it up. I fixed it. Back to the desk? Desk is up. Okay, well, you got to tell me. I'm not magic. <laughs> I pretty much know what you're yakking about, yes. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. What is going on in the chat, Don? Is there anything going on? Um, um, they're all still saying good morning and everything. Good. <laughs> and okay. Still have people popping in. Good. I miss some of it, so I can't really always see it. So trimming. I got my nice sharp trimming scissors. And I'm just taking my time. I'm going to go in there in a second, but I just want to get the outside done. Now, this part was a little bit close, but if you're careful, you can trim it so nobody knows. Well, I guess it's on video, so people will know. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, Creative Kiwi's designs are very user-friendly, so everything gets covered up if you make a little boo-boo because it's nice thick satin stitches we're going to be doing. So, it's awesome. So, almost done there. There must be a reason why she wants us to cut out the middle. This is a little fiddly, but if you take your time, we can do it. I don't think it would show through on mine, so... I probably could leave it, but let's do it this way. See, it's not so bad. It looks a little bit daunting when, you know, oh my God, I have to cut around that. But if you do it off the machine, which I always do, you don't have to worry about the little bits getting in and around your machine. Um, but you can also move the hoop around like I do so it's convenient. You get a much better cut if it's in front of you. I'm sitting kind of sideways, but um, I move it around. If you're using a multi-needle machine, make sure you mark your hoop so you put it in the right way. This one would be, you know, easy enough, but hey, I've done it and I've seen people do it uh, on a circle one or something and you put it in the wrong way and you make a mess. So there we go. Now, I didn't do everything perfectly. Loving the colors. Loving the colors. So, okay, Don, back to McDreamy, please. Up. Thank you. We'll put this back in. And we're going to put our 
cool very cool actually sewing machine fabric on and we're gonna stitch it down and then trim it the usual and once we get all these colors in place then we're gonna start with the decorative stitching which is cool it's a nice bold print i wasn't really sure at first but the way i cut it it's gonna show enough of the flowers and the orange bits to work out really well so i kind of like it it all matches nicely and it's different so there we go for that yeah next step we're gonna do some detail work so back to the desk don Apparently, Don, I don't know if you know this, but apparently some people watch enough videos that they they say it to themselves. Back to the desk, Don, or Don back to the desk. It's kind of funny because I probably do say it a lot per video, don't I? I? I used to do that a lot when I was when I worked for cable and did a lot of television production. I found myself doing that watching regular shows. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So are you. I know. It's okay. We're a weird nerd family. It works. Now, I used black, and it's a little bit hard to see the black thread on the ba black fabric, but I am just literally just going to take my time on this. Always when you're doing trimming, take your time. It's really important to, to master you know, working with your scissors, if that makes any sense. If you have troubles, you can easily switch to another pair of scissors. I can't even see that at all. That's interesting. So a little bit of a quandary there. Maybe that's why. Yes, that's why. I was going the wrong way. hoo -ah, That's fun. Okay. Took me a second to figure that out, even with all these bright lights and everything. Man, oh man. But just take your time and get it right. And if you're stuck like I am, you just move the fabric and you can kind of pinpoint the line. See how I did that? Because I know that's stitched down. So it, it just, you know, gives me a better idea because I really, really can't see this at all. But it's okay. I'm liking this, the bold flower fabric. I think it's cool. So again, I can't see it, so I'm going to fold it. And then I can see it. So just a little trick makes it easier. Um, when you're trimming, try not to cut over the line. It's important that you, you know, make a nice trim. The, the better it'll look at the end. So, okay, I did that fairly well. Got a little stuck. Patience, patience. What do we think so far? I think that's groovy. I like right here that the orange here matches the back perfectly. That is a cool designer sewing machine you have there. Yeah, I kind of like it. But it's not McDreamy. We got to love McDreamy. So, Don, back to uh, McDreamy, please. And for new people, McDreamy is a brother dream machine, and I name all my machines because that's how fun I am, I guess. Our newest addition, Jerry Janome. Jerry Janome, yeah. Let's not talk about Jerry in <laughs> front of him. Oh, sorry. So now we're going to see how well I did on trimming. So it's going to do our... Uh, Oh, a zigzag stitch, because I love zigzag stitches. And it's going to go around um, the outside. That might show through. I didn't realize it was doing this. Oh, so we're just zigzagging. That's all it is. Which is nice. I like the zigzag. I might have changed the thread. For some reason, I thought it was going in a different area but that doesn't make any sense either hey i'm tired i'm tired but that's okay actually i love the black i may in fact leave it i don't know so zigzag stitches just helps hold down those nasty little ends and holds everything solid what are you laughing at Jill says my partner sighs when he hears me dreamy and follows it by saying no you can't have it. 
<laughs> Hashtag sorry not sorry. I know, I know. Don does that when I sneak in the word luminaire. He's like, no. Not that I ask him, but I know we don't have the money for it right now. So, I don't ask. But I hint, I hint and joke around. Yeah, but one day and then they'll come out with an even better one that stitches itself for... I don't know what else. The projection, McDreamy scans, which is really handy. So, for example, if you were doing this and you um, took it out of the hoop and, and it was finished, except for the back, I guess, um, and you wanted to add something to it, you could just scan it and then you can precision place it. And the Luminaire, I don't have one, but the Luminaire, it looks like it projects it on to your fabric so you can really 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 see um which would be cool but i'm happy with mcdreamy um it's kind of weird because i always had multi-needle machines so most people go from single needle of whatever kind to a multi-needle and me being me i had to do it backwards and it was kind of a weird moment um when i bought it i'm like mm, i don't know about that but it's worked out. I like it. So we are going to change off of the black thread. And I chose white for the quilting. So we're going to start the quilting. So just regular white thread. Nothing fancy about it. It's um, exquisite thread. And the orange one is Floriani. Or the orangey one that's that's the one i like to use the most other than my metallic because you know metallic king star metallic rocks so it's just going to do some lovely quilting lines here which will look fantastic so let's do that they're echo lines and it looks pretty good um i think it's for me what i like is the quilting lines to blend in Ooh, thank you sandy i see that there um if you see any writing don let me know when they do the super stickers or whatever they are um ronag thank you very much i forgot to say hi to ronag there hello glad you can always join us and i know i probably say your name with a canadian accent but i can't help it i'm canadian so forgive me <laughs> I try. I try. I try to get the names right. I, I, I have a pretty simple name that nobody gets wrong. So, yeah, Ronag, thank you very much. Any donations are very much appreciated. We just roll everything back into the channel, um, all the donations, and we get, you know, better fabric better cameras, better microphones, better programs, um, and it really works, or different things to try. That's the money that I spend on that. So, orange. Okay, let's see. we got to make a color change again, and we're going to put the orangey in. Now, it's going to stitch over the zigzag. Um, it should be okay. Remember to always pull your thread in the direction that it normally goes so you don't mess up your tension um it should be okay but i'm also okay if it uh shows through a little bit because it's still the basic colors so i don't mind that too much i think it'll be okay but generally don't put a dark color it would have been better if this part was in white but i didn't catch it um, my brain's just not working that way today. So re-thread with the orange and we're going to see how that looks. Usually the stitches are dense enough that it'll be good. So now we're doing the satin stitches. I like the nice bright colors. I like it. I think it's different. Okay, so that satin stitch, the color is going to make this and this part stand out even more. So it's a little bit more pale than I thought. 
and the black does show through a tiny bit, but not as much as you would think. I'm thinking the black would look better, but I do want some orange in there as well, or salmon or whatever, but it still all matches. It's just, like I said, your eye is going to be drawn to this design, the orange to this design. I think I'm also going to do the lettering in orange too. So what a super cute design this is. Isn't it cute, Don? They used to make black sewing machines long, long, long time ago, but you know. Alicia, thank you very much. Everything adds up. More fabric, more goodies. I think we're set on cameras. The only thing I would love to have is a DSLR camera, but it's way too much money and we don't necessarily need it, so... For what we want, yeah, we decided that. And we have a backup camera, too, so we're even good on that. But, yeah, we get everything going on, so, you know, it's proper sort of thing. So, um, let's see. What are we chatting about? Off to the repairman. Oh. You sound like a Michiganer? Mich Michiganer? <laughs> That's a funny word. Um, I would do the lettering in black. Orange might make it blend too much. Yeah, I'm kind of on the fence about that. I couldn't really decide until I saw the orange stitching out. And I think the black would have been better here. It would have framed it a bit better. But I also do like the um, orange part to make the orangey color stand out. So... Yeah, I think the lettering should be in black. Just waiting, I. What's that about? Maybe. Sorry, I'm just listening to my machine. It had a little problem there. Yeah, it seems to... There's a couple of gaps in it, but that'll be okay. Yeah, I didn't know what that... What am I going to do now that Blueprint's gone? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. They had such great deals all the time. And for me, it was even more fantastic because the prices I saw were in Canadian because um, the Canadian versus American dollars um kind of sucks so it makes it twice as expensive for me so i have no idea i'm kind of sad because i got very used to the pattern sets that they had and it was you know i would save a, a little bit of um youtube money not that there's a whole lot there but just a little bit of it and then I could buy a layer cake and I'd usually get a charm square pack and um, eventually get some yardage of it. So I'd have a whole, a whole pile of things to do and they all matched and I could do everything. So, um, Apricot, yes, that's right, Sarah, you knew that it's from, um, Cricut. So I don't know if they have it anymore. Um, but I think they're moving or they have moved away from the fabric, but I went on there looking for something and I saw the fabric was like amazing. <laughs> they had an amazing deal on it and it's the same kind of concept of layer cakes and pre-cuts. So it's pre-cut 12 by 24. So there's not a whole lot of fabric. Um, but they had a deal. You got two of each and it was like a hundred dollars. So it's like, it worked out to be like $4 a pack. I'm like, thank you. I bought like two or three of them. So even though it's not a lot of fabric, they're gorgeous. Um, but they're, they're kind of, you know, an odd shape for stitching and embroidery. So I don't know. I just did it. We skipped a spot. Yeah, we're doing that on purpose. Phew. I was like, ma, 
What? So, this is coming out beautifully. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I, I kind of like it. I do like the orange. I don't want too, too much black in it. So, that's good. Uh, we're going to do our fancy bits. Hopefully, that will cover up my thread error there. Whatever was going on. Nothing too terrible. Yeah, I'm liking it. I love the echo quilting, too. Susan Weehy, thank you. Beth Price, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it very much. I I do love the fabric sets. They're um, from Cricut. They're bright and bold and fantastic. They're just not much of it. Super de do for this. I do use my Cricut for cutting out fabric. Um, Cricut has a fantastic... Um, I call them recipes, but I know it's a pattern. Pattern for scrub caps that Sam really loves. Okay, now we do need to switch to black because we are going to outline the old fashioned sewing machine. And there is a little bit of detail work on the sewing machine. So I do want it outlined in black. Um, I may switch to the orange for the detail work if I catch it in time. Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't check this out on the, uh, computer before I stitched it. So I don't know how connected it all is, but let's just see. This will be the black around and around here. What a cute design. What a cute design. You can also, when the lettering comes up, there will be a thread color change. And you can skip it and add your own, or you can do it on the computer. So, Walmart fabric. Um, people, I just see someone uh, mentioning Walmart fabric. Not so much in Canada. There's little bits and bobs, but there's not much of anything. So, yeah, th that's the other problem. It used to be when you would sew something yourself, it would be cheaper than purchasing something. Um, not so much. We pay like, what, $18 a meter, so a yard-ish, a little bit bigger than a yard. So, I mean, you could go in there and come out with five yards and it's a hundred dollars so that's why i opted for blueprint and it was just perfect for me making is expensive for anything now yeah i guess so i guess so i've never really bought fabric like this and all the different colors and stuff um so i didn't really know and we were kind of flabbergasted about it uh, much better in the States. Oh, see, you can't really change the colors. That's okay. It's doing the jumping from, not jumping, but moving on, connecting on from um, the details into the middle. So you can't really change it. It's all connected, which is awesome. Oh, Carolyn says, was clipping my dog when I realized the time. <laughs> one shaved leg and three fluffy ones well i bet you that's cute i don't think the hounds would like to be groomed would they don no i don't th and odie likes to be combed but you don't really groom dash hounds he's a wire haired so we just let his wire hair go wacky fabric in norway is also expensive it's kind of crazy really the the prices here in Canada because I like to have stashes of it so I can you know figure out what I want to do but you can't really do that so that's one reason why I save all my scraps a lot <laughs> because I can use them for something like this 
Um, the pieces were kind of weird shaped and everything, but I can use them. You can also, with scraps, you can throw them in um, your Acuquilt cutter. I have one of those too, and I absolutely love it. That's how I made, I don't know if you guys saw, but I made um, a blanket and I used my AccuQuilt cutter for it and it turned out awesome. Don loves it, don't you, Don? What's that? The blanket, the Halloween. Yeah, I've always wanted a Halloween blanket, so I made it. Yay. Just loving the fancy stitch over the satin stitch. Yeah, it looks cute, doesn't it? I really like it. Okay, now we're doing satin stitches on the machine. I don't think the detail work right here is too bad. You can still see it. I uh, I didn't want my orange covered up too much. I think this is okay. I'm going to do the outside in black. We're still a little bit away from that. But yeah, bright colors. Um, I want a Halloween one also. Oh, it's so cute. Um, it's, it's already in the OML and... Uh, embroidery university facebook group and that was i was finishing it up and um jerry janome was having a bit of a hard time because he's not a a big strong guy like mcdreamy so i got out my uh weightless quilter which made a huge difference and jerry was able to handle it and after that we threw the rag quilts in the machine and um it's gorgeous it's just really nice i just kind of made a a lap quilt it gets cold here the house gets cold in canada I liked using it last night. yeah so all i did was um the blocks happened to be perfect size for a layer cake so i just got out my halloween layer cakes and just cut them up and then you can cut batting on an accu quilt so i cut that up so everything fit perfectly and it's great for uh newbies like me i'm just learning to sew and quilt i'll probably do all my quilting on mcdreamy with a big metallic metal hoop metallic no and uh that'll make it easier like uh dime does but I didn't have to do much for that one. So I used Jerry Janome, just sewing machine, not embroidery machine, for just doing the single ones. And then I'm going to use McDreamy for the rest of it. I kind of like his laser pointer, which makes it easier. So we'll Jill, see. Jill's asking if you know what model Jerry is. I don't know. Could you look? He's beside you. I, I didn't know. Nah, I remember McDreamy. It's an okay machine. 4300 QDC is Jerry Janome. Um, I just wanted something uh, small and portable. Obviously, McDreamy isn't that portable, but I can take Jerry outside and stitch in our gazebo. Um... I can move it from desk to desk. I have lots of trolleys he can go on. It's just, it's just easy. Sue, go south if you can't handle Canadian weather. No, I can handle Canadian weather. We just have to dress properly for it. I, I much prefer fall and spring when it's cool as opposed to middle of the winter minus whatever cold. Oh, probably it's it's nothing um, you know hugely special. I I was you know obviously on a budget and it's just kind of like a a side check, <laughs> a side machine. So I didn't need anything like fancy and thousands and thousands of dollars and you know I just didn't want to spend that kind of money because McDreamy does have. A sewing section and you know all the detail work and and stuff like that and he's stronger and one thing I noticed is the space between here and here is huge on McDreamy so between the hoop and over to the edge that that makes a big difference but Jerry Janome worked fine and uh, he's quite groovy so I didn't mind him at all it was uh, it was nice 
Spring and fall weather here in Northern California. I bet that's lovely. I bet you that's lovely. Um, 80 degrees. Woo! That's warm. We're supposed to get a heat wave still, aren't we, Don? Yeah, 30. 30? 30, 30 cel we're Celsius in Canada. So, yeah, we've got some warm days, um, which is lovely. Weather in Norway is perfect today. Well, I hope you get out to enjoy some of that. Um, Don gets up early and sits outside in the gazebo when it's not quite as hot, which is nice. And, uh, oh yeah, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. We are going to uh, spend a little bit of social distancing and being very careful time with Don's mom. She's going to come over here, so uh, I think that'll be lovely. She needs to get out a little bit. And hi, Mom, if you're watching. I don't know if Mom... Oh, okay. Did she text you? How do you know? I haven't seen her name. Oh, she watches every Saturday, so... Hi, Mom. We're looking forward to seeing you a little bit later today. And then we're going to see Lynn as well. So, busy day. I may or may not leave the house. <laughs> I'm a little anxious about that, but, you know, you have to be careful. Uh, I'm just... I don't know. It's stressful. Karina doesn't want us talking about it, so I'm not going to, but... Leaving the house is just um, stressful for me right now, but I get like that. South of Texas and it's 85. That's pretty warm, isn't it? Wow. 85 in the morning. Okay, so the black looks, I just glanced over to see it, the black looks magnificent on that fabric. I really like it. I really like it. I'm glad this one's orange, though, because of the black and black would not be the greatest right at the bottom there. I'm thinking we want it to stand out, these parts, so I'm thinking that's fine. I will do the lettering in black, though. That was a great um, suggestion. I love it. It's so perfect. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And the pattern isn't outrageously busy. Sometimes I over-busy everything. But I think solid, light flowers, and then a more bold is a fantastic combination for this uh, mug rug or coaster. Or You could also put ribbon in it um on the back or whatever so you could hang it up so you could hang it on the door or hang it on the wall i think that would be good this size would be good for that door door sign door i don't know what the word is for it what a great gift that would be too if you know someone who's you know, having a hard time during the quarantine and everything, something like this would be, you know, a nice reminder. Go into your sewing room or your embroidery room or wherever your embroidery machine is and get stitching because it's awesome therapy. It's awesome therapy. A lot of people do it. Just take your time. Do what you love. I'm very happy with my blanket. I've never, I've never done anything like that. And again, I said I'm, I'm learning. So it's not perfect, but the rag quilt is very forgiving. And I'm thankful up and down I didn't have to sit and cut out all of those fringe pieces. Because hooah, it would be a lot. So thank you, AccuQuilt, for that. It's a great one. This is looking good. The uh, motif stitches that go over top, they kind of flatten the satin stitches a bit, and I think it looks fantastic. All right, we do need to do a thread change because we are going to do a little bit of detail work, and I'm hoping 
the orange shows up enough. I didn't want too much orange in it, just just enough. So there's a, a thread um a thread on top and then oh I don't know if you guys can hear our is that tank or beagle? Uh, that's tank. tank barking. He's tank chasing something. The there, so. Oh well they they're on thread duty. Thread duty? Thread duty. Yeah, no. No, don't leave any thread. They're both stealers and they there's teeth marks in more than one of my thread cones. They like to steal and run. They think it's fun. I'm like, come on. Only 22 degrees near Paris. Would you survive? 22 is um, Celsius is a gorgeous temperature. That's We thrive on that. It's not too hot and not too cold as long as there's we have a lot of humidity here and wow we're waiting for that thunderstorm that comes and blows all the humidity away oh look that looks great that shows up just enough i like it i guess because it's um a back stitch too that's cool i like that and the thread's gonna go all over Okay, I wasn't sure. I guess that's supposed to be the needle. It shows up enough. So the thread goes into the machine. Make dreamy. Come on. I would like to program make dreamy somehow that he says something instead of beeping when the thread breaks or doesn't stay in. Wouldn't that be funny? Like Samuel L. Jackson for the, the thing. The, you know, you know the thing. I can't say it the because thing. then it'll talk to us. And that happened during a live once. And it was kind of funny. But yeah. The Norsemen, thank you for ice cream. Pink ice cream. Pink ice cream. Well, I don't eat ice cream. He's all about the pink ice cream and unicorns. I'm not sure. Really? <laughs> really? Karina, you need to check with your husband. I don't think... Pink ice cream is very Viking, is it? Very manly. Yeah, he may have to hand in his man card. <laughs> Just maybe. Maybe. Okay. So I'm going to lock this back a little bit until it goes to the top. And then I'm going to press plus one. Lynn says that McDreamy should have said I've lost my thread. Yeah, something like that. I just think that would be funny. My thread is gone, and it's gone forever. Some silly movie quote or something. We do that a lot around here. Okay, it does show up just enough on the orange, on the salmon or whatever color this is. Just enough. I like it. Now they're all talking about what? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I still really think we should do that. Vegas. I think it would be really fun. I think it would be really fun. Just for something completely different that other groups don't do. Um, we can all eat together and have coffee together and talk embroidery and have a great time. I think we should. Believe me, he is man enough and he has a sense of humor. <laughs> We're only teasing him. We're only teasing him. We know he's man enough. He's a Viking guy. The color is melon, someone said. Yep, it is. Perfect melon color. Thank you very much. Dawn, I've got to get my meds on track here. <laughs> really love the colors. Yeah, me too. I, I was pretty sure it would turn out like this. I'm not always sure when I try bright colors uh, or different things, you know, the orange and stuff like that. But I try it anyways, and, you know, most often I like it. Sometimes I don't, and I just change the colors and do it again. <laughs> 
I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to stick with it, but this is turning out gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to black. I originally had this in orange, but I think the black will stand out more. So yes, I agree. let's try it. Let's try it. So let me see the black. There we go. Luckily, my dreamy is super easy to thread. I find uh, Jerry Janome a little fiddly. He's a good machine. It's just I'm I could do this probably with my eyes closed. So I had to I had to learn it how to do everything. But he's perfect. Okay, ready? Lettering. Awesome. And then all we have to do is put the backing on, and then we can have a nice look at everything. I didn't have enough scraps of this to do the backing that matched. I did have enough of the sewing machine material, so that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna use. So just a little bit of lettering. Like I said, you can change that if you want. Um, Sue, can I ask where you get your stabilizer from? It's from uh, Johnny. Super Punch. Super Punch is um, what we use. They're out of uh, Montreal, but you can find it on Amazon as well. And this is water soluble stabilizer, and it just happens to work really well, and it's a good price, so we just stick with that. It works well enough. What is the matter, McDreamy? Why is his thread always coming out? Any particular reason? I wasn't talking about you enough, McDreamy. I don't know why it is. It's a little bit annoying. We'll have to look that up, Don. Because it's happening a little too often small stitches i get right the first one's sending gremlins that's why he's laughing with his evil laugh oh <laughs> seriously <laughs> there we go so i got it to move back up to the last stitch on this one and Isabel then says she uses super, punch. super punch yeah they're they're good they have um decent thread as well I have a ton of Floriani, so I just use that, but we use some of it for business, so, I mean, you can. I just find it's easy, and it's, for us, it's in Canada, so it just makes it, um, you know, it's in Canadian dollars, and it, you'd think it would get here faster, but it actually does not, but <laughs> it takes, like, two weeks to come from Montreal. I don't know why, but I, I don't know. It's probably him. <laughs> but it's good stuff, and it's easy to get. Um, if we're not using Johnny's stuff, um, Super Punch stuff, we use uh, Gunold. But the only problem with Gunold is you have to buy a monstrous amount of it, and it's hard to dump a thousand dollars on batting or on um, stabilizer and stuff so um, none of this stuff we use for business so it's just for me sort of thing and Don will come up and steal some when he needs it so the smaller works better for me so it's nice though it's nice to have so I have the water soluble stabilizer and the no-show mesh is from super punch they're pretty cool Jealous, uh, shh, Sandy. She says he's McDreamy is jealous of Jerry Janome yesterday. I know a couple of people were shocked that I was stitching with uh, Jerry right in front of McDreamy, but I did talk to McDreamy and he understands a little bit because it's not an embroidery machine. He's good with Ragnar because they're, they're brothers. <laughs> Get it? Get it? They're brothers, and they're beside each other, and they have fun. So Jerry is just a sewing machine. He's not embroidery. So I did apologize to McDreamy, but he says it's okay. And he's stitching today, so we're all good. It was shocking. You guys are funny. I love it. I laughed so hard when a couple people 
um, commented on that. Isabel McDreamy is a good guy. Yeah, he's pretty easy going. You know, he's pretty easy going. Yeah, kind of funny. But I did miss his bells and whistles and his space and laser pointers and stuff. Uh, I might not be able to convince my partner for McDreamy, but he does buy my stabilizers, etc. Yeah, McDreamy is a jump. Um, I think there's a new McDreamy and they call it something different. Stellaire? St something. I think it's pretty much the same as McDreamy. You should be able to get, uh, or you can look anyways, for um, a gently used one as well from a, a dealer or whatever. Uh, I don't think anyone's ever going to give up their Luminaire, but when the Luminaire came out, everybody traded in their McDreamies to get it. So, and I had just kind of um, bought McDreamies, so... So I didn't. I'd like both, actually. I'd like to be able to keep McDreamy and get a Luminaire. One hell of a system I'd have. I'd use McDreamy, give him a little bit of a break for sewing, set him up for that. That would be amazing. Amazing. So, black lettering, good call. Yep, someone suggested it back there, and I had just wanted to see how the orange looked before I decided, but the black is spectacular for whatever reason. It's awesome. Okay, so the next step... Well, I like the different fonts. That's kind of cute, actually. Janet's asking if um, on your rig quilt, did you use a 6 or 8 inch block? Uh, 8. It was 8. I used a layer cake, which is 10 by 10, and the rag quilt is... The rag quilt die is the bigger one. So it's lovely. And my circle one, so you kind of make a rag cathedral one design. That's coming in next week. Okay, so the next step that I see is just the outside. And when you see that near the end, that means we want to put our backing fabric on. So what we want to do is face down and I just kind of tuck it up. McDreamy doesn't really like tape. And because it's water soluble, we can kind of see through it and we can make sure, just peek underneath, make sure that it's all covered. We should be good on the side. See how you can see it? You can see through it. That one might be a little... It's closed, but I think you're okay. You think I'm okay? All right. As long as it doesn't shift at all. Uh, it doesn't usually. If it is, we can just uh, fix it. It's pretty close, but... I could I could have moved it over a little bit. So this is stitching down our backing, which is fantastic, easy to do. It's going to make the back look pretty. This is a satin stitch finish mug rug or coaster. So we're going to have to trim everything up and then put the uh, satin stitches around it and it'll look good. So, I like that. It's not matching up. Oh, it's doing it twice. Okay, so it's gonna stitch it in twice, which means if... Did you change your bobbin to black? Not yet, but I actually have one sitting here. So I might do that for once. I never, I never do it. All right, hurry up. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Yes, I will. Um, Dawn, back to the desk. Okay, desk is up. Oh, chicken was a little close there. You made it, though. I made it. All right, and while you guys are looking at that, maybe Dawn could talk or something. No, I can talk. You can talk. I'm just... You're close. You're gonna mic. I know. I know. There's a reason for that, man. Hey. What? 
I just said there's a reason. I didn't say what the reason was. You implied it. I can imply anything. Don. Why are you picking on me? I live to pick on you. I know. Why can't I? You pick on me too. I know. Scares me coming up from his man dungeon all the time. All right. I just changed the bobbin because if I don't do it right now, then it won't get done. So how about we trim this guy? I'm going to start with the back because it's the easiest. Yeah, I see. I could have moved it over a little bit, but no matter. No matter. Um, you can use a little bit of painter's tape or masking tape to tape it down, but McDreamy really does not like tape for some reason. It just doesn't. Um, I, I use it sometimes, but he still messes it up, so I try not to use it. I do use a little bit of spray once in a while, but I don't particularly like that either. But it is handy, especially if you forgot to iron. <laughs> that's that's an easy way out of it. That's that's one of my secrets. <laughs> I like I, I don't like to iron. It's kind of like changing the bobbin, but for these I do. All right. So now for this one, I am going to use my duck build scissors properly because it's going to count so what you don't want to do is have see how that oh you probably can't see it but you even can. going twice you can see that it um fuzzed it up and you don't want to change the tension the placement or anything so by using the duck bill on this part see it doesn't catch at all and uh, that is what they're for, and it's fantastic. See, I don't have any problems. If you have ever, you know, kind of made a mess <laughs> and wrecked it at this point, it's really hard to pick up and do it again. You can, but see how fast I can do it? Because I don't have to worry at all about where the scissors are and if they're poking anything and wrecking the whole design. So I can make short work of it and still turn it around. And again, it's always best to trim on your desk instead of your machine because you can get at everything faster. See how quickly I did that? Okay, your color choices are amazing. Yeah, are you loving it? Yeah. You loving it? Totally. I like the orange and I like the black. Yeah, I love it. Uh, it's amazing what different fabric can do, right? Oh, love it. So trimmed, trimmed. I actually, this is a monumental moment. I changed the bobbin to black for McDreamy so we can all enjoy that. So back to the machine. What did you do? I changed the bobbin. Holy. I know. Someone reminded me, and I happened to look, and I happened to have my my little bobbins, my little bobbin holders sitting right here. So Yay. what the heck? All right, ready for the final stitches. Trying something new. No, it's not anything <laughs> new. I just never remember to do it. Stop it. So a little zigzag to hold everything down. Uh, it should be good. I love the zigzag holding everything down. It gives you a perfect finish. So, what's going on in the chat, Don? Oh, I wasn't watching. I was watching the Oh, I wasn't doing anything. Like Destiny 2 IQ Designer, yep. Uh, Stellar is the new Dream Machine 2. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I thought it was. I just like to look. Obviously, I don't need another McDreamy. Um, what did you call your Stellaire? It would have to be Stella, wouldn't it? Don't you think, Don? Stella Stellaire? Yeah. I think so. McDreamy is just perfect for me. I, I kind of laughed. Yep, McDreamy and McSteamy. And everyone giggles at me, but it's like, hey, I gotta be me. The black satin around it is really going to make it pop. It sure is. I think it is already, even with a zigzag stitch. Yeah, wow. 
What side? Madeline. No, she means after it's done and you get it wet. Um, the best way to get rid of that is you can either wash it. You got to get rid of the wash away that is now on the inside. It'll get stiff. You know, I've done it and I'm like, oh, I forgot to soak it in a bowl of water, warm water. You don't want all your colors to run and get rid of all of that. When it dries, if it's still kind of stiff again, then wash it again. That's the, you got to get rid of the wash away by, you know, washing it away. Um, that's what you need to do for that. All of it, because yes, there's still wash away. We're going to cut away the outside, but there's still wash away on the inside. And if you have a slushy or something that drips water, it's going to start washing away the wash away. And if you don't wash it all the way, it gets stiff, right? That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So that's what you need to do is make sure you wash it enough. If you are hanging it up on the wall, like if I had put ribbon here to hang it, um, then you don't need to worry about it because it's not going to get wet. Yep. Give it a good soak. Throw it in the washing machine or something like that. It works. That helps a lot. Yay. Well, you want to have uh, beautiful mug rugs. You can iron them too, by the way, after you uh, throw it in the laundry. You can iron it too. You just always have to be careful of the thread. So put a, a tea towel or something over it and iron it because you don't want the thread to melt and if you overdo it it will so yeah make them uh nice yeah yeah i prefer chris yost i prefer spending on fun stuff too i like spending on fun stuff i've been doing a lot of that and i shouldn't be but i did anyways it's been fun it's been fun OML Embroidery University. Yes, one of the best groups out there. We have so much fun in the group. One of my favorite parts of, you know, being in the group and, and helping people and everything is when there's homework and people post their stitch outs and people post their designs and stuff we've created. I think that's awesome especially the Anita Good Design, um, which guys, purchase what you can. I'm trying to get an OML code for any project projects we do from uh, Anita Good Design. Haven't got it yet, but I'm working on it and they seem pretty positive about it. So wouldn't that be cool if we get a nice discount for any projects we want to do so i'll let you the code. yeah yeah just especially for people who are joining in on the project because i think we should keep doing it i'm having fun and pick pick things like the um one of the moderators suggested the uh quaint applique and i absolutely love the designs um a couple people in the group has have actually finished their quilts and it looks awesome oh that's okay that's okay do you what do you do with karina when she doesn't do her homework i give her detention detention Karina gets detention when she doesn't do her homework, but that's okay. I love the Anita Good Design designs. I know. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's just a matter of getting it through. However, in the meantime, make sure you use the 50% off to get our project ones. Um, it's fantastic and it's um, a great deal for them and it'll just make it even that more fun I guess that um, we got it such a good deal on it but I'm really happy that Anita Good Design is gonna go that far for all of us so yay awesome and yay 
Yes, the code is bless your heart, all one word. And it's 50% off. I'm not a hundred percent um I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's site wide, but I haven't heard anyone say anything either. Um just post as a picture. Yes. It's good till the code is good till July 6th. So, I mean, go for it. That's what I'm saying. Oh man, this is so good. I love this mug rug. This is my favorite one with these colors. Oh, sorry. I had to have a little drink there. It's kind of dry in here. So, okay. Yep. Bless your heart. I wasn't sure if I would like the black around it, but it makes it pop. Yeah, I wasn't really sure either until I saw like these parts and the sewing machine. It's a perfect frame for it. I am very happy with the orange. Uh, I could have done white as well, but I wanted to keep it with orange. I'm glad I did that one orange and not black because it, uh, it kind of fades away, not fades away, but it sets itself back in the background and then the black pops. It'll draw your eye to it. If you were, you know, walking by in my living room and saw it, you'd go, wow, okay, because contrast is always eye catching. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. I should take a picture. Oh, it's probably in the group, but I'll take a picture of the Anita Good Design design that I did with this fabric. And it's got a little bit of wow factor to it. It's really cute. So I centered a picture and it's um, a folk, folk art bunny. And it caught my attention because it was orange. And then I uh, did the borders. There's the Christmas borders and they're the regular borders. So I did a regular one and they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I really want to do the Christmas ones because they are stunning. That's a job for Ragnar, not McDreamy. Um, he can do all the color changes himself. So, you know. It's a little Halloween. Yeah, I love Halloween colors. I think that's that might be my maybe favorite Anita Good Design was the quarter turn quilt pattern. They take a, a little bit of time to stitch, but they are stunning. Stunning. How much is this design? It is free on Creative Kiwi. So there's links everywhere for it. There's links in the description as always. So go and grab it and then you can stitch it out because it's a beautiful design and it comes in a whole bunch of different sizes and everything. So easy to do. Easy and fun. Oh, we've gone over time. Oh. Yeah, we're at 120. Oh, well, whatever. I didn't think it would take that long to stitch. Doesn't an hour go by so fast? What the heck, Don? We have a little bit less people than we normally do, but that might be because it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to everyone. We're gonna, I said before, we're gonna celebrate a bit today and Don can relax. Are you gonna relax, Don? Yeah, I'm not working today, I work tomorrow. Okay. It's not very often that we do that, but holidays and family days and sometimes we switch them out for other days sometimes yeah, oh, yeah it's today. good outside or inside uh probably a little both i got a few little bit of stuff that been here so. oh not work stuff though no no overtime cook up some chicken so that's ready for us for tomorrow chicken for what Chicken sandwiches tomorrow. Oh, there you go. Oh, someone asked about overtime. We don't get overtime. <laughs> I wish we got paid for overtime. I wish we got. We'd be rich. I know, I know. Be we pretty much work 20 hours a day. Well, 12, 12 or 15. Yeah, we've been kind of. It's been slower lately, but when everything was rolling, it was long days all the time. Long days all the time. But. 
that is the joy of working from home. You never leave work. So, and we're not complaining. No. It's just, I've been doing it for almost 20 years, so I'm kind of used to it. Any plans, Don Brown? You can answer that for Father's Day. Yeah, he's going to take it. We're doing it today instead of tomorrow. Mom's going to come and visit and have dinner with us. Don's mom is going to come and visit. We'll be very careful. Other than that, no. We're going to sit around and relax. Sit around and do nothing. It's movie night. Later. It's movie night. It's movie night. I know. That'll be fun. So, we're heading towards the end. I love working from home. Yeah, me too. I'm very comfy staying at home and being at home all the time. It doesn't phase me at all. And I love working, so that's why I work all the time. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, the group and the channel is all about the details, so that's why I do such fun graphics and try my hardest to come up with new ideas and fun things to do and have a good time. I'm really happy with this. I, I love the colors. The black, I don't often use black, I don't think, on, uh, on most mug rugs. Black is not included, but I'm glad I included it on this one. You could also do it the around the edges in white, but I don't think it would quite have the effect. So is everyone excited about the Anita Good Design Project so long? Because we're doing the basket tomorrow and I can't wait to see what it looks like. Sandra says, I love your videos. They keep me inspired and keep me wanting to do more. Ha! Good. That is exactly what they're for. Be happy. Stitch. Be happy. All right. Look at this baby. Happy music. Back to the desk, Don. He's so loud. Oh, I can turn it down. <gasps> that looks picture perfect, people. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yep, let me just move my hoop. Fabric for scraps. Uh, I'm pretty sure it did a fantastic job. And for once, look at the back. Feast your eyes on this. Isn't that Beautiful. gorgeous? Yep. So, yeah, get your sewing mojo back. Stitch out this design. It's free from Creative Kiwi. Don't ever be afraid of being bold with your fabric and thread this is almost a scrappy one there's different sizes man i love it so if you have any questions about stitching this out people ask in the oml embroidery university facebook group that's you know you'll get lots of answers i love this wow i don't know if i can get more of this fabric but i'd you, like you to do something i will yeah thanks yeah, so you just trim it out and then you use a little bit of water to get rid of it or soak the whole thing to get rid of what's in between and that's fine. So thanks everyone for joining us for our wonderful Saturday. I did what fits in the 8x8, by the way, so because I, I wanted this to show exactly like this, big enough so you can see the fabric on the inside. So, um... Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you give it a like and share with your friends. Everything's free and we have a good time and you can see step by step on how to do this amazing designs. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is tomorrow Yay. at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.